Now, people who know me well know I'm a pretty basic guy. I'm a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that order. Now, while I'm currently, I currently have the privilege of serving the state that I love, I'm really, I'm really just a small town boy who grew up in southern Indiana with a big family and a cornfield so, in the backyard. That's Mike Pence. Uh, I'm a Christian, I'm a conservative, I'm a Republican in that order. And that's why he's the nominee. Uh, Donald Trump had a, a real challenge. It's not, again, covered well because most of our media does not cover this complex interplay between the religious right and the Republican Party in a, in a serious way. And certainly people who know Donald Trump, the developer, don't think of him as a man of God. No, it's, I don't think that's, you know, first tier, although you can discuss two Corinthians with him or whatever. But the, the bottom line is that he needed this. If you go on the floor of that convention, you know he needed Pence. And what Pence brings to him is absolute uh, allegiance with the religious right. He came up politically that way. But he also brings something else that is uh, perhaps worthy of, of at least as much discussion, and that is a long-term relationship with the structural supporters of the modern conservative movement in this country. He has worked for groups that have been funded by some of the richest people in the country, groups associated with the Koch brothers, for many, many years. He speaks their language. He's a down-the-line social, economic, and foreign policy conservative who fits the mood of this new conservative establishment. So Trump picked him not for the message that goes out. Chris Christie could throw the messages that go, you know, beyond the convention. Pence was picked for this convention and for the inside of the modern Republican Party, which is not a party, by the way, that particularly likes Donald Trump.